Hey there everybody and welcome to an introduction to geometry notes. This is going to be my series where I'm going to show you how to use geometry notes from beginning as in you do not know anything uh, to advanced. So uh, my plan is I'm going to make a series that is so detailed and so like built on top of itself that at a certain point if you watch every single one you are going to know everything that I know about geometry notes. So we're going to start off with simple projects and then we are going to get more and more advanced. So because this is part zero, and let me get uh, geometry notes actually started and show you what that means and how to do that. Uh, because this is part zero, we are going to be dealing with simple uh, kinds of stuff. So, uh, what is geometry nodes? Very simply, geometry nodes is a modifier. What does that mean? Well, let's say we have an object, whether it be a cube, or you can add in a monkey or whatever. Uh, for any of these objects, we can go to the modifier tab and add in a modifier. It could be a build modifier where um, over time, it gets built. That is an example of a modifier. Um, another modifier is you could add the screw modifier and do some like spinning and stuff like that. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, but the point is, these are modifiers, and among the list of modifiers, you're going to notice if you uh, look at it alphabetically, uh, here we go for G, uh, you're going to see geometry nodes. So geometry nodes is just an example of a modifier. What makes it special is that it is a modifier that you can program or you can kind of create and say this is what I want it to be with the thing called nodes. We don't know what that is yet, but point is geometry nodes is a modifier. One way to get into geometry nodes is to select the object you want geometry nodes to have, like the cube, go to geometry nodes, and then click new, and it will make a new geonodes group. When you go to the Geometry Nodes tab at the top, by the way, if you don't have that, you can click plus, you can go to general, and you can uh, add Geometry Nodes right there. Uh, but you can see when we added this modifier, it created two nodes, a input and an output. If I rename this to uh, lesson zero, you're gonna see it's gonna rename our node network. In other words, everything inside of here is a bunch of nodes, it's a node network. It's gonna rename it to lesson zero. If I rename it here to less than zero. You can see it renames the modifier. So again, everything inside of here is the modifier. If I was to do something super simple, like say transform, don't worry about what any of this means yet, and scale by two, in other words, make it bigger, you can see uh, this modifier, less than zero, uh, what it does is it makes things two times bigger. So if I was to take this uh, monkey, add in geometry nodes, and instead of making a new one, I say use this pre-existing modifier setup you can see it's gonna make that also two times bigger. So what I've just done is I've created a modifier that makes things uh, two times bigger. Uh, but all I want you to know is that geometry nodes is a modifier. You can either access it by you know adding geo nodes and adding in the modifier, or we could do it a bit more directly. If we have an object and we're already in the geo nodes tab, uh, you can click new, and then it's gonna do the same thing, but kind of conversely. So it adds our node network, and then it adds in our modifier again, let me just call it again. Uh, these two things are linked. They are the same thing. And you're going to see a whole bunch of other stuff like the, uh, I don't know what it's called really, the info sheet. It's called the, bah, 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 bah. it's called the spreadsheet. Uh, you're going to see a whole bunch of other stuff. So you have your uh, node uh, system that we can create, our node editor. You have our spreadsheet, you have the 3D viewport. Uh, but again, don't worry about that. Uh, the only other thing I want you to do for this tutorial, because I'm going to be using this a lot, is if you haven't done this already, uh, go to Edit, go, go to Preferences, and then in Add-ons, type in Node Wrangler. It comes with Blender. It doesn't necessarily come in, um, enabled with Blender. So if it, this is not checked off, check it off. What it lets you do is do all of these fancy commands that I'm doing, uh, where you can see I'm making these lines. So I can cut a node, connect a node, do this, do that. Uh, normally, to do everything I just did, you need to like add in a reroute, which is this dot that you can connect here and here. But with uh, Node Wrangler, there's a bunch of uh, shortcuts. So, what you learned in this lesson, uh, let's uh, take it back a second. What you learned in this lesson is that uh, geometry nodes is a modifier. It's a modifier that we can apply to any object and we can make it do anything. That's the complicated part, telling geometry nodes, this is what I want my modifier to do. Uh, but we know we can make a modifier. It's accessible by adding a geometry nodes modifier, or you can go to the geometry nodes workspace and add it that way. So that is lesson zero. Uh, follow me on lesson one, where we are gonna make a very simple modifier.